I haven't yet mastered the art of filming among people, so here I am out in the empty streets to get good footage. But I don't mind, because fewer people means I can poke in where I don't belong more freely. Maybe there's something here I can photograph. This is both a great and a pretty useless way to do photography. I can go out without much of a plan or purpose and hope for the best. On the one hand, that means I see everything with fresh eyes. On the other hand, I'm too critical of what I do see. I keep second guessing myself. But I do love being out in the streets with my camera because in the end, you never know what you're gonna capture on that sensor. Most often you end up with nothing, but if you do find something, that'll be the best picture you take, because I didn't filter out everything beforehand like I do when I plan a shoot. And in these times when things are as they are, getting out into the streets and into the outdoors makes all the difference between staying sane and not, right? city is this big puzzle. You have millions of pieces that make up the whole, but you have to combine a few of them into something interesting that fits on a sensor. That's why I love photographing cities as opposed to say landscape or wildlife or anything else. <laughs> Behind each of the people here there's a story, behind every story there's something to photograph. When the hero of some of these stories gather you get this clash of things, these pieces, and every such clash is different. That's the city. Each of us photographers are different. Each of us approach photography differently. Each of us want different things from photography. And each of us do the same thing over and over again, each time expecting a different outcome. That's what I love about photography, and that's what I love about cities, and that's why I love coming out here in the streets like this, with a camera in hand, hoping to catch the, those pieces. Is that crazy? The best and the worst part is after, when I go through what I got. Any keepers, or is it all trash? Most of the time it's all trash, and I suppose I should be disappointed, but I don't. I sit there feeling pretty good about myself, because no photograph is ever trash, not even the trash. Even the bad ones teach something. Didn't nail the focus there, did ya? Be mindful next time. Whoa, that exposure is way out of whack. Did I reset exposure compensation? I should have gone wider on this shot, I can't really copy it to work. Hmm, my widest lens is 12mm, which is like 24mm. I need a better lens. It all teaches something, so I don't feel bad about ending up with nothing but trash. Except, of course, for the frustration that I'm not a photographic master yet. But it would be insane to think one could be, right? <laughs>